Welcome to another TOEFL listening practice video. In this video, you will listen to a lecture, answer some questions about it, review the correct answers and explanations. Channel members can download their worksheets in the community tab of the channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more TOEFL listening practice. Welcome everyone to today's lecture on the fascinating evolution of human communication. For millennia, humans have sought effective ways to share information, express emotions, and build communities. What began as rudimentary gestures and sounds has transformed into the complex linguistic and digital landscape we inhabit today. Let's start by considering the earliest forms. Before the advent of spoken language, early hominids likely relied heavily on nonverbal cues. Body language, facial expressions, and rudimentary vocalizations to convey basic needs and warnings. This foundational stage, while simple, laid the groundwork for more sophisticated systems. Around 100,000 to 50,000 years ago, a significant leap occurred with the emergence of spoken language. This wasn't a sudden event, but a gradual development facilitated by the evolution of the vocal apparatus and cognitive abilities. Spoken language allowed for abstract thought, complex narratives, and the transmission of knowledge across generations, fundamentally altering social structures and accelerating cultural development. Following spoken language, the next major revolution was the development of written language. Early forms like pictograms and cuneiform emerged independently in different civilizations, such as Mesopotamia and Egypt, around 5,000 years ago. The beauty of written language lies in its permanence. Unlike spoken words, written texts could endure, transcending time and space. This meant knowledge could be accumulated, codified, and disseminated more widely, leading to the rise of formalized education systems, legal codes, and historical records. Think of the impact of the printing press in the 15th century, democratizing access to information and sparking the Renaissance and Reformation. It allowed for mass production of texts, making knowledge far more accessible than ever before. In the modern era, the communication landscape has been utterly reshaped by electronic communication. The telegraph in the 19th century dramatically reduced the time it took to send messages across vast distances. Then came the telephone, allowing real-time vocal interaction over wires. But the true game changer has been the internet and digital technologies. From email to social media, instant messaging to video conferencing, our methods of interaction have become instantaneous, global, and multimodal. This digital age presents both unprecedented opportunities for connection and new challenges, such as information overload and the spread of misinformation. So, from a grunt to a global video call, human communication has continually adapted, driven by our innate need to connect and share. Each evolutionary step has built upon the last, fundamentally reshaping societies and individuals. Understanding this journey helps us appreciate the power and complexity of our everyday interactions. One, what is the main topic of the lecture? Two, according to the lecture, approximately how long ago did spoken language begin to emerge? Three, why does the professor mention the printing press in the lecture? Four, 
4. What can be inferred about the professor's attitude towards the digital age of communication? Five, what connection does the professor make between spoken language and cultural development? Six, what is the professor's overall attitude toward the evolution of human communication?